Hello students once again welcome back to English literature classroom today i am teaching the poem falling leaves by margaret cameron it's in the book real english 8 okay come on let's start falling leaves up in the tree there's a gentle shy for the leaves are whispering goodbye goodbye leaves of yellow of crimson of brown saying goodbye as they flutter down now when do the leaves fall leaves fall mostly during the autumn season okay falling leaves are compared to the change of season in other words it can be said that falling leaves complete the circle of life the final stage and decline then death okay now in this poem the poet tries to represent a war going in within the nation and the tree represents the nation clear now the poet tells that the trees are taking audible breath and expressing the griefs now why are the trees expressing the griefs because the leaves are falling and before falling they are whispering goodbye to each other now same is the case with the soldiers okay even soldiers before going to the battlefield okay they tell goodbye to each other now when do this leaves fall leaves fall when either they turn brown or yellow okay sometimes they also become crimson that is dark red in color okay now let's see the question what are the five trees in the poem that shed their leaves in autumn the five trees that shed their leaves in autumn are chestnut hawthorn lime oak and maple clear now over here in lime it is written l i n e actually it is m okay it's a typing mistake just ignore let's go to the second stanza up in the trees there is a golden rain of the leaves that never will be green again leaves of chestnut of hawthorn and lime falling from branches of summer time now in the second stanza the poet says that up in the tree one can see the leaves falling down okay and it looks as if there is a golden rain now many varieties of leaves are given here chestnut hawthorn and lime now what is chestnut it is a large tree that produces glossy hard brown nuts hawthorn what is hawthorn a thorny shrub or small tree with white or red or pink flower and next is lime it is a tree that bears small juicy fruits now leaves of chestnut hawthorn and lime describes the diversity of the soldiers okay in the battlefield the soldiers from different part fight together okay in the same way leaves are falling of different trees okay not of same trees but of different trees third stanza under the boughs is a carpet bright which the leaves have made in a shing- single night brown of oak leaves and yellow ash crimson of maple in ruddy splash crimson means red okay and maple is a tree with leaves that have five points okay and it turns bright red or yellow in the autumn now under the boughs boughs means branches a bright carpet is made with dry leaves this carpet was made in a single night then just imagine that in a single night so many leaves have fallen down okay a carpet bright refers to the thick layer of leaves shed by the trees the previous night okay now let's see the question what are the leaves whispering answer the leaves are whispering goodbye goodbye let's go to the next stanza all through the wood goes the cruel wind as it drives the leaves with the sorry with his breath and kind leaves that cover and shelter and cling trembling and frightened of everything all through the wood cruel wind is blowing clear all through the wood wood means forest okay all through the wood cruel wind is blowing now what is this cruel wind doing this cruel wind is driving away the leaves okay now the word cover and shelter and cling trembling and frightened give the impression that the leaves are falling and they are terrified clear let's see the question what does a carpet bright refer answer a carpet bright refer to the thick layer of leaves shed by the trees the previous night let's come to the next stanza all down the stream on a swollen tide flowed the leaves like ship in which fairies ride 
she was that hastened to harbor and shy winter is coming goodbye goodbye now the leaves just have fallen down are trembling and they are frightened of everything all down the streams the leaves are floating these floating leaves are compared with the ships in which fairies ride okay and what are the leaves telling winter is coming goodbye goodbye clear now let's see the question why is the wind cruel answer the wind is cruel because it blows away the leaves with its unkind breath okay with this i am concluding this video in my next video i am going to bring something new until then goodbye